Look at this sleepy bear. Yoshi? Yoshi? Want to go outside? Hey everyone, thanks for joining in. I'm sorry I've been so MIA. I actually used to have Fridays off and now I'm working a five to six day work week and I'm just exhausted. But I'm back and I'm really hoping to stay consistent. Today I'm joined by my little puppy again. He's sitting here in the corner. It's a dark and gloomy day. I'm sorry about the lighting, but let's get to it. Now I know that I watch a lot of lifestyle and how-to on YouTube and I know a lot of you do too. But how many of you have taken oral care advice from these online gurus knowing that they don't really have a lot of science or medical background? I know a lot of people do and that's okay and it's fine that they can recommend what works for them and what they think would work for you but at the same time I really want to give you two sides of the story and have you recognized that some of the things they recommend might actually be harmful to your teeth without you actually realizing it. Number one, I have seen quite a few videos on YouTube recommending brushing your teeth with activated charcoal. And I'm not here to name names. I know it's worked for them and they just don't really know that the long-term effects of these can actually be more harmful than they are beneficial. So if you don't know what activated charcoal is, it comes in a pill or tablet form. You can just break it apart and directly pour out the little granules of activated charcoal. A lot of these are sold as an antitoxin for people who ate something they weren't supposed to or had too much to drink, and some people use them as anti-bloating medication. So what I've seen users recommend is to pour out the activated charcoal, create a little slurry, and use that directly on your toothbrush to brush your teeth with. Um, it looks a little gross, to be honest, I haven't really tried it, and if you've tried it, it's okay, but if you have felt this consistency of the charcoal it is really rough and it is really gritty and this is what you're putting on your teeth and of course it's going to take away surface stains because you're scrubbing with this really rough gritty charcoal that's scrubbing away not only the stains and anything that's accumulated on the surface of your enamel but over time it's going to start wearing down your teeth as well and this is why some people feel like their teeth get really sensitive when they use certain whitening products if you've used this already, it's okay, don't worry about it, you probably didn't do too much damage. Um, this trend is a little bit of a newer thing I've seen online, so just try to stop what you're doing now. <laughs> For that same reason, a lot of people tend to use just plain baking soda to use to brush their teeth. And I know you're saying, well Arm & Hammer makes a toothpaste that is baking soda, so how can it be harmful? And you're right, it's not as bad as the charcoal, I would say. It's a little bit finer, a little bit softer. But I think if you do suffer from sensitive teeth, I would really recommend you try to avoid any baking soda type products. Another food that a lot of people like to incorporate into their diet but can be harmful to your teeth are citrus fruits such as lemons, limes, and oranges. Uh, I have seen a patient who had a full-on addiction to eating lemon wedges straight out of the rind. I mean, lemon is great for you. I love using lemon in a lot of my recipes, but you really don't want to be eating lemon. And I know a ton of you love to incorporate lemon into your water in the morning, whether it be in your hot water or tea. I think it's great, but I would really, really try to be careful. If you can, drink through a straw and try to avoid the fluid contact with the back of your teeth because it can really wear down your teeth. Of course, it's not going to wear down immediately. It does take some time for you to see these drastic effects, but try to do the best prevention you can now. Also, I love to use apple cider vinegar in a lot of my recipes that involve sauces or dressings, but for that same reason that you want to avoid lemon juice, apple cider vinegar is in the name, as it suggests, very acidic. And I have seen a patient who started using apple cider vinegar dissolved in some water and she just sipped that throughout the day, especially in the mornings. And you could see pretty quickly that this started to wear down the backs of her teeth. And um, they didn't really want to give up drinking apple cider vinegar because a lot of doctors do recommend that it helps with kickstarting your metabolism. But again, try using a straw uh, make it more dilute if you can and avoid contact with the surfaces of your teeth 
And even if you would like, just down a shot in the morning and that's it. That'll be that'll be the kickstart to your metabolism and you can get on with your day. I hope you guys found some of this information helpful and kind of gave you a little bit more to think about on how you can take care of your teeth a little bit better. Let me know if you have any questions or comment down below on what you use as a natural way of cleaning or whitening your teeth and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you guys have a great day and a great week and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye.